What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another Farm Simulator 19 tutorial with your boy CJ Farms. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the manual attach mod into your FS19 and how it works. Go ahead and click the link down there for the manual attach mod. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Also, sub if you haven't already, guys, and click the bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content and go live. And if you don't mind, slap a like on this video for me. I would really appreciate it, guys. Uh, when I post new content, when I go live, I think I said that right. Uh, anyway, guys, gonna bring in this this right here now. For those who want to know what a manual attach mod is, uh, you know when you take your tractor and you back up to your trailers, or you pull your harvesters forward to your headers, and it automatically gives you that option to, att to attach it, and you hit the Q button to attach your tool. This is a manual attach. It actually adds the realism to the game. You can actually get out of your tractor or out of your harvester. And hook it up manually along with a few other cool attachments, okay? Uh, so, with that being said, what you want to do is click download right here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to download right there. Go ahead and close out of your browser. And you want to go into your file explorer and go to this PC. And then go to your downloads folder. And grab the FS19 manual attach mod and bring it out just like that, alright? Now, we need to locate our mods folder for our Farm and Simulator 19. The way we do that is we go into our file explorer, we go to this PC, and we want to go to documents. Okay, go to documents, and then you want to go to my games right down here. Should have sent that says my games, and once you find the one that says farming similar 2019, just highlight that. Don't open it, just highlight it. Once you highlight it, right click, click send to, and click desktop create shortcut, and then close this out, and then you'll see this shortcut right here. All right. Grab this and pull it down to your file explorer and when it says pin to file explorer Just let it go and drop it in. Okay now. Let's get out of that and Grab that what happened to that shortcut? Okay, here it is right here guys once you get that grab this right here and Throw it in your recycle bin now the way you access that okay is you go down to your file explorer and you want to right click Go ahead and right click and you should have one in here. This is farm simulator 2019 shortcut go ahead and click that and open it up now inside of here, you should have a mods folder. See, this is mods. If you do not have a mods folder, I'm gonna. Ha I have more than one mods folder, guys, for different things. Um, but if you have a mods folder, you'll have one mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder in here, at this point, you should be in uh, Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2019. Okay. Now, if you do not have a mods folder, just go over here in the white area in your buffer zone. Right click. Click new, click folder, and just simply name it mods, just like that, all lowercase, M-O-D-S, guys. Once you got it, open up that mods folder, okay? Now, now you should be in My Games Farm and Simulator 2019 mods. That's where you should be at. You want to take that WinRAR file we downloaded. We're not going to extract it. We're not going to open it, okay? We're going to take this entire file that you see right here, the entire thing, guys. Just grab it the way it is. Pull it into your mods folder. Now, let me say this. Do not highlight anything. If you're highlighting something that says copy, do not drop it, okay? This is the easiest way to do it. Just grab it, pull it into your mods folder until it says move to mods folder and drop it in, okay? And then right there it is. Go ahead and click refresh. And then we can go ahead and close out of this. And I'm going to take you guys inside the game and show you exactly how this manual attached my words. It's actually really cool. So I will see you all inside of... Farming Simulator 2019. I almost said LSPFR. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once we're loaded in the game, uh, this is just my little tutorial map that I use here. This is uh, No Man's Land. I use this for my tutorials. I built me a little concrete slab, but that's not the point. So I bought a different couple. I cu bought a couple of different devices here that we can hook up to. Now, uh, the most simple device you're going to be able to hook up to is just ballpoint trailer. So I'm going to back up, and you're going to notice now. That when you back up the trailer, that little indicator, that little indicator is not going to pop up saying attach. Okay, you'll have to back up about like that, and then you're going to want to hop out, and you'll notice if you're using controller, and I will do it on keyboard for keyboard users. If you're on controller, that's the control that you're going to use to attach your mod. If you're using keyboard, you're going to use the Q to attach it. Okay, now if it doesn't work the first time you walk up, walk back, and walk back up to it. Let me get back in the tractor here and get out. All right. Sometimes you will have to do that. And then just hit the Q. If I can 
Oh, I'm in a bad spot here, man. Okay, here we go. Let me walk back up to it right here real quick. And then you hit the same button to detach it and attach it, okay? So if, the, if it doesn't let you detach or attach, just walk back and walk up to it again, and it'll let you do that. Now, if you have any hoses that need to be connected, you would hold down the Z button. You would hold it down. If you have a like a yellow bar that needs to be connected, right? You would just tap the Z, okay? So I'm going to show you that here in a minute too. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to detach this and we're going to hop back in the tractor. And we are now going to back up to this beller. I did buy this beller specifically for this reason. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit so I'm away from everything. Well, I can't, but I'm going to back up to it. You guys are going to see I'm going to back up to it about like that right there. And you are now going to walk up to it. Okay, and you're going to hit the Q to attach it. Now, to attach that yellow bar, you're going to tap the Z. Z is in zebra. You're going to tap it, okay? Now, to hook up those hoses, you're going to hold down the Z. Just like that, okay? That's how you attach it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's the same with everything. Let me go ahead and get in here. And let me pull this out. And let me shut that off. Now, if you wanted to detach it, you would hop out. And before you could actually unhook this, you would have to um, detach your hoses, right? And detach your uh, piece in the middle just by tapping it. So if you tap it, it attaches the bar. If you hold it, it attaches your hose, which is Z. Z is in zebra, okay? So we're going to detach that again and then hit the Q to detach it, okay? Now, we're going to go over to the harvester because I did want to show you guys um, this. All right, guys. So, I went and bought a specific header that I knew for sure that had to be attached from the back as well. Now, in harvesters, you're just gonna, you're still going to be able to attach from the inside, right? Um, but all you're going to have to do is just pull up to the header. All right. And once you do, once you do, okay, it's going to ask you to attach. All right. See it right there. Go ahead and hit the Q to attach it, and you're going to hop out of the harvester, okay? Now, see that little yellow bar right there? And there's a couple hoses here you got to hook up as well. We're going to we're gonna walk up. We're going to hold down the Z. Again, guys, if it doesn't work the first time, back up. Walk back into it. And there you go. And then hold down the Z. Oh, my mistake. And I think that's it. There may not be any hoses that you have to attach. Let me see here. Let me make, let me double check, guys. I do want to make sure that there's no hoses to attach. All right, so in order for this machine to work properly, those attachments have to be hooked up. And I will show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to un I'm gonna detach this, okay? I'm gonna detach that, okay? And I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna unfold the harvester. Nope, open up. And I am I'm gonna go ahead and hit the F1. Uh I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and I'm going to attempt to turn the harvester on by hitting my B key, okay? Now, as you can see, nothing is working. Now, if I get out, okay, and I hook that up, there it is, and then I hop back in, and then I turn on the harvester, it will now turn on. See that, guys? It's very realistic, uh, but that's pretty much how... The mod works right there, ladies and gentlemen, and I wanted to show you those few different attachments there. Uh, just remember that to hook up the yellow bar is to, you want to tap the Z. Okay, I'll show you again. Uh, we're going to hook this back up. You just want to tap the Z to hook up the yellow bar and hold the Z to hook up any types of hoses you have, okay? Uh, with that being said, that is going to be it for this tutorial, guys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate the love and support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button for me and click the bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. With that being said, until next time, guys and girls, this is CJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video.
video. Get that off of there.